Welcome back to Lonesome Acre Homestead. Today is the unboxing of my brand new cream separator. For those of you that don't know, I do have dairy goats, or so I do milk them. Um, well, the one that we have been milking. Currently, I milk her once or twice a day. Uh, so my fridge is totally full of milk. Um, but unfortunately, they their cream doesn't separate from the milk like a cow, cow's milk does. Whereas, so normally with a cow, if you milk a cow, after 24 hours, the cream will start to separate. You can then use that cream for heavy whipping cream, butter, ice cream, whatever you want. With uh, dairy goats, it doesn't work like that. You actually have to get a cream separator to separate that itself. Um, so that's what we have here. Um, and we're gonna actually try to put this thing together today. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and get everything out of the package and go ahead and get it washed. I have a lot of milk in the fridge, so I'm really hoping that we get some milk separated today.
have here are seven of seven of these mesa jars full of goat's milk and we are going to try to run this through our separator today um we'll have butter fat that comes out of one side and skim milk that comes out of the other uh, but first i have to warm this milk up uh, before i can put it through my separator so that's what i'm going to do now so what i have here is my goat's milk that i'm just heating um on the stove you just want to use a, a thick pot uh, if you have one all right it'll keep your milk from scorching on the bottom uh, we're not getting it too high up to temp or it's just going to be right at 100 degrees i do have a thermometer and i'm just kind of watching it making sure that i, I keep this stirred and right now i only have um two two of my seven mason jars um of milk i put in here um because it'll help it get up to temp um a little bit faster um so that way i can just kind of make this rotational um so i'll put this in dump two more jars in keep it stirring while the um cream separators um going i'll go ahead and check this temp And we're right at 80 degrees, so not far off. Just gonna keep stirring. This only takes a few minutes, um, so it's super easy to just keep this um, rotating from what I've seen online. I've seen a lot of people make like huge pots of it and then you can end up scalding the bottom of it and that's a lot of wasted milk so if I mess up I'd rather it be on um, two mason jars full instead of seven. <laughs> Alright, let's get this up to temp and then we'll get ready for the cream supper.
this is our milk. Um, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there is definitely a color difference between your butter fat uh, and um, your skim milk that's coming off. Pretty cool. So you can see like this is just you know kind of easing through there where this is pouring. So this is definitely our milk side. And this is what the inside looks like. And this little, um, I don't even know what to call it, this little pulley, this little stick pulley thing that I've been working with is what opens and closes uh, to let the milk flow through the centrifuge. So neat. So this is our final product on the right in our big jar right here. We have um, all of our milk and then right here in this bowl we have all of our thick beautiful cream that I'm going to make butter with um, later on today. Um, all this foam is just from it going through the cream separator. Uh, again it's just like a centrifuge so it spins the tar out of it um so that's the reason why i have all of um this foam and that will calm down um and i actually ended up with more milk with this that i just went ahead and threw in the fridge um but this is ready to go it's ready to drink um i heated up enough um prior got it back down um to 100 degrees or so it's been through the separator we've gotten all the fat out of it that we need uh, and so this is milk that my family can drink or we can cook with so instead of going ahead and making butter I went ahead and um, got this all washed up um, so we have our base and here are all of our pieces that I had to take apart um, which I had to take it apart to clean it before I even used it um, but now I've had to rewash it since I did use it. Now, from here all the way to here is just one piece. Um, so I actually laid it out. Um, so once I put it back together, my ring will go on here, this will go on top, and so on and so forth until it's completely um, back assembled. So this section right here is what seems overwhelming um but honestly after assembling it um well disassembling and now going to be reassembling it again today for the second time i honestly don't think it's going to be all that bad um like i said it does look overwhelming um but it's not um it's not all that bad um, I can, if I have interest in this machine in particular, I know there's different brands. Um, I got the Vevor um, cream separator, and I got it directly from their website. I can always create a video on how to assemble and disassemble this as I get better with it as well. Um, again, you can make plenty of different things with your cream, and you can use this for any of your dairy livestock. Um, I'm primarily using it for goats, um, so I can make different things with their cream. Stay tuned to our channel so you can watch what we make with our cream.